Hello, friends. So, Bible study, the Niv, Acts. Uh, we're in chapter 8. Um, in this video, we're going to do 14 uh, through 25. Uh, there'll be a, another video today where we will take it through the rest of chapter 8. Okay, So, we left off with uh, the introduction to Simon the Sorcerer. Um, and Philip had gone to Samaria, and the, the people had gotten um, good news. He baptized people there. Okay. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, right? So remember, there, this is the building of a church. They're working in unison. It's not like it's not supposed to be about glorification of any one person other than Jesus. So they're doing these steps and stages because while Jesus was alive, he showed them how to do it. Right? First we get them baptized. Now they're washed clean of all their sins and they're they're in they're ready for the Holy Spirit. Now we have to preach to them, we have to lay hands, we have to do different things because this is how we bring the healing. So he's teaching them. He was taught them these things when they were alive. They're just, you know, repeating what he was they were taught. They sent Peter and John to them. When they arrived, they prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit had yet not come upon any of them. They had simply been baptized into the name of Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John placed their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given at the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money and said, Give me also this ability so that everyone whom I may lay hands on may receive the Holy Spirit. So he thinks he's doing something very good. He's like, oh, You can do that? I want to do that. I'll pay you to teach me how to do that. Right? He thinks it's something that's coming from them, from Peter and John, not through them but it's originating out of them. Peter answered, May your money perish with you because you thought you could buy the gift of God with money. You have no part or share in this ministry because your heart is not right before God. Repent of this wickedness and pray to the Lord. Perhaps he will forgive you for having sought thoughts, such thoughts in your heart. For I see you are full of bitterness and captive to sin. Then Simon answered, Pray to the Lord for me so that nothing you have said may happen to me. When they had testified and proclaimed the word of the Lord, Peter and John returned to Jerusalem, preach, preaching the gospel <coughs> Excuse me, in many uh, Samaritan villages. So, first lesson of the day. There is no amount of buying rightness with the Lord. That's not how it works. It's about how you conduct yourself when you're interacting with the rest of the world. That's the only way. In your heart, you have to do as he told us to do. Love one another. He didn't tell us to do a bunch of other stuff. And the way you prove your worthiness is how much money you spend or how much you do for, you know, this, that, or the other thing. He said, love one another. That means every person you're interacting with, you choose to breathe life into their world, not death into their world. You are responsible for how you interact with the world. You choose if it's going to be a good day or a bad one. You choose how you choose to treat other people, and that determines the kind of day that you're going to have. If you treat other people good, you're more likely to have a good day. You will be in alignment with the Lord when you seek. The Holy Spirit moves through us. So you must actively seek him. And must be having the intention to not make other people feel bad. 
to not make other people feel out of balance, to not create emotional disturbance in the negative in yourself and in others. As long as your intention is to do any of those things, you will be out of alignment with the Lord and you will not feel the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the superpower that lets people do things. So you're jilting yourself out of abilities. Okay. That's your choice. I, uh, I respect that that's your choice. Do as you will. But I'm going to choose to try to stay in alignment with the Lord so the Holy Spirit can shine through me. I encourage you to be the best version of you can be today as well.